Hey guys, welcome back to my channel on tutorials on Excel, math, business, and anything else you might like. Today, we're going to talk about a very important aspect of business known as EVSI. EVSI stands for Expected Value of Sample Information. Let's give an example. Say we want to invest, and we have the option to invest in stocks, mutual funds, or bonds. And let's say we have a 40% chance of a good economy and a 60% chance of a bad economy and return of if it's a good economy for investing in stocks is 100, if it's bad is negative 17. If we invest in mutual funds, we'll get 60 in a good economy, negative, we'll lose 12 in a bad economy, and if we just invest in bonds, we'll make 20. Now, a consultant approaches us and tells us that he can make a report and tell us what we should do. How much are we willing to pay for this report? Maybe it's a good report, maybe he's reputable, we need to factor in the cost. Is it worth it, a good report? No matter how good it is, there's always gonna be a level we're ready to pay. So, let's say he comes in with a report and there's a 44% chance it's a positive report and a 56% chance it's a negative report. Also, let's assume that given it's a positive report, there's a 59% chance there's a good economy and a 41% chance there's a bad economy, a 75% chance there's a good economy if it's a negative report, and a 25% chance there's a bad economy. So here's our normal decision tree. We have our values, we collected the expected values, and we see that normally in a good economy, we wanna invest in stocks versus the alternative of hiring an analyst. So we have these probabilities here of having the analyst. We could have a positive report, stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and we input these probabilities given the conditionals of what happens if positive good economy and we multiply these out the same way we calculate expected values in our previous videos and we see here if we get a positive report we should invest in stocks down here in a negative report we see that the best alternative is bonds which makes sense in a good economy it's better to invest short term in a bad economy it's better to invest long term so what is EVSI? This is just a calculation, but we didn't talk about how much this consultant costs. We just talked about what we're going to get with this report. So how do we calculate EVSI? So EVSI is also known as imperfect information. So sample information can also be known as imperfect information. And the formula for that is the expected value with sample information minus the expected value without sample information. So let's take a look. So hiring the analyst, we received an expected value of 34. It was a decimal, but for all intents and purposes, I'm just using the number. $34 is what we would get expected if we hire an analyst without, reduce, without taking out the cost because we didn't mention one. So assuming this test was free, our expected is 34. Subtracted, expected value without sample information. What are we supposed to get if we don't hire an analyst? What if we just invest? Up here, we have a 29.8 expected value. So EVSI would be the expected value with sample information, hiring the analyst of 34. And expected value without is 29.8. Subtracting those, we get 4.2. So our EVSI is 4.2. What does that mean? That's how much we're willing to pay for an analyst or the consultant. If the consultant comes to me and says, for $4, I'll give you a report, I'll say yes. That's a great deal for me because I'm ready to pay 4.2. So anything less than 4.2, he's worth it. If he comes to me and says, for $4.5, I'll give you this report, I say, no, I don't need it because I'm only ready to pay $4.2 for this value. Why would I give you 4.5 if it's only worth 4.2 for me? Knowing the expected value of sample information allows you to make these decisions. Should you hire an analyst? Should you do this? Should it? it helps you make very important decisions in the long term because if it's only worth $4.2 and you're paying 10, you're losing money regardless of what the report says. But if this report is worth $1, He's asking for $1 and it's worth 4.2 to you. That's a great deal. You should definitely look into EVSI and calculating what you should make a financial decision or not. It's a very important concept and I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and let's help as many people as we can.